Kane, who was always seeming to be one of the early players eliminated from MLGs due to his horrible luck in facing top opponents like Rhett and in control, now has a strong chance of advancing into winners game five, and Select is considering what map he wants to choose. Yeah, now, if, if you were in his position down 1-0 to a Zerg opponent, really, what map, what would be your go-to map in this matchup? You know, a lot of people have really um, felt that big change in the most recent patch to the game where ordinarily you would say anything with close positions is uncomfortable for Zerg. But Zerg seems to just have that drone timing down so well and the roaches are so strong that even close positions on Metalopolis feel a little bit more comfortable and you can really put pressure on, as we did see in Sen against QXC. So it looks like what... Um, what select went for was Zelnaga Caverns. And now Zelnaga Caverns, another map with a back door. Let's go ahead and make these uh, players into the Team 1 and Team 2. Do they have the correct colors? Yes, they do. Let's ask if they're ready. And you know, this is honestly a very nice spot for Machine as Select is choosing a map that all races love, Zelnaga Caverns. Now, I would just like to request that the crowd give a huge cheer for EG Machine, who has a strong chance of advancing into the winner's round five. And of course, give a cheer from Select from Team Dignitas, the hero story from MLGDC. Crowd, give a cheer for, for Select. <laughs> there you go. They started to die down. There you go. You have to be balanced and unbiased here, except when a player that I like is playing. So Machine in the bottom left as the blue Zerg against Select in the top right as the red Terran. Now, uh, we saw Select open up with a very aggressive style last game, trying to uh, contain his opponent in with Rax at his ramp. Doesn't really work too, too well on this map, but if uh, Machine does go for an early hatchery, he will be able to utilize that same strategy again, Select will. Uh, but one thing you have to keep in mind is this map is very hard to defend your natural expansion with mm -hmm. so many different mm -hmm. entry points into it as well as kind of this back door behind these uh, little shrubbery right there next to your natural expansion. Looks like Select is, as usual, going for the wall off. Most of the styles I've seen him employ are the very fast tech, a lot of blue flame hellion drops, um, a lot of Thor drops, even on maps without some sort of ridge. Definitely loves that little metal mix in with the bio. But last game, I don't think was his usual style. I think he just wanted a very, very fast win and was inches away from grasping it at the start, but Machine having a very, very nice recovery. Machine now up to 14 drones. Will he throw down that spawning pole or will he be throwing down a hatchery? Here comes the SCV for select. He's as curious as we are over here at the caster desk. Overlord will go ahead and scout that SCV, so at least Machine does know that it is coming. Rax has been thrown down for select and looks like he was thinking about throwing down gas, but no, he moved that SCV back into the mineral field. No! Oh, that was so close. And uh, he throws down the gas right after that as he was trying to block that expansion. Looks like hatchery first for Machine. And meanwhile, back in Machine's base, so smart again, squeezing in those extra drones. Gas down right now for Select, going to be playing a little bit more typical. Could go for some double Hellion play. Could just do the usual fast tech up to tanks or even Banshee play. A lot of options for Select at this point in time. Looks like Machine and Select will begin a boxing match for a brief period of time, and Machine would really love to steal that top gas. Yeah, he's actually thinking about it, moving into position here. No, he's going to try to steal some minerals. Not too sure what he's going to be doing with that drone. We'll keep an eye on that. Let's go back over into the main of Machine. Spawning pool has been thrown down. Marine will be chasing away that drone, as I do hear gunfire from Sean's PC. SCV has uh, done a little bit of damage onto those drones, but Machine chasing it away again with his a drone of his own. The drone does fall of Machine in select space. What a tragic loss. That poor drone executed in the far corner of Select's base. Select continuing to mule, finishing the wall off. Now is enough gas for a factory. There it does go down. No barracks play to begin this game. And interestingly, Machine has not taken a gas yet. This is a little bit more of the typical style of play you see from modern Zergs, who are favoring more of queens and lings to do their defense, or should I even say queens and spine crawlers, and getting the gas much, much later. No ridge, no fanciness that you have to worry about. All you have to have is very solid macro for the mid-game. We do have a factory coming down for Select in his main. No uh, re a reactor or tech lab onto that Rax, but what are your own thoughts really of opening Hellion in this matchup? Do you think it's still viable like it was uh, before that patch hit? Oh, absolutely. I mean, 
even though the Roaches do have, uh, you know, that little range boost, there's still so many players who are opening lanes, and even then, you do have to cover such a wide area against the Hellions that they're very, very effective. We even see Machine throwing down a spine crawler right off the bat. Now finishing gas at 28 food, beginning that construction. We do see that there is a, ooh, a pretty fast starport coming up from Select, so I'll be very interested to see how he plays this off, but through the entire mix, he's been getting a very fast command center. We do see a tech lab being thrown down onto that factory, so most likely going to be seeing uh, some Banshees here to maybe do some harassment to his opponent while he gets his expansion up. Looking around for an army armory, I do not see that. He's still only on one gas, though, so if he does go Banshee, he's definitely not going to be able to provide Cloak for that Banshee very, very fast. Yeah, it looks like he wanted just enough for one Banshee. He has just surpassed the 100 gas mark, and there indeed goes down a Banshee. Awesome. Tech Lab also going down on that barracks. We can get some early stim. Uh, looks like he will be getting some bio this game. And in the meantime, Machine is making such an absurd amount of drones. Speed has started there for Machine. Still only uh, two gas right now in his main. Has not added gas onto those uh, natural expansion gas geysers. And uh, here a little bit of uh, gun clatter over here at the uh, ramp of Select. The Lone Ling does meet a Hellion there. Four Lings trying to get the surround on that, but it's going to take a long, long time before he does. Lining up for the kill oh. there against that Hellion. A quick four kills, and now the Hellion's going to go and try to find out what his opponent is up to. This Overlord does sneak in to the main of Select. Will he see the Banshee pop out? He does not, but he has to think with a tech lab attached to it, attached to it and those lights blinking. He's going to be able to uh, throw up some queens here in just a moment. So it looks like fast Banshee play, an increasingly popular little mix there, but oh no, Machine's going for the huge Baneling mid-game, a very popular way to play. We saw a lot of the top Koreans like Kyrix use it so well against Foxer, but here it is going to be very, very hard for Select to be able to deal with this. He doesn't really have that much at the front. Oh no, there's one Banshee at the bottom. It doesn't have Cloak. He's waiting. Is he waiting for a second Banshee? I don't even think there's another one out there. Uh, it looks like there is not. I do love these Baneling placements up here behind the brush using the back door entrance. Dr or SCVs have been transferred over, but there's only about six plus one mule. Banshee shots have been fired here at the natural expansion. Still only two queens, and it looks like that queen from the main has been pulled off. No uh, creep actually connecting the two, and here comes the uh, machine actually going towards oh the base no. of Select. He does get the surround onto those oh. Marines, and here come the Banelings. Banelings rushing up. All the Marines are already dead, and the SCV is getting sandwiched. Machine very careful not to waste any of them if there are any additional forces, and poor Select only has the these two Marines, the Banshee at the expansion oh. is gone, and oh, G -G. good game, huge, huge win right there for EG Machine, as he will be advancing to winners round five, and we will even take a look at the brackets to see where that places him in this tournament. Machine really showing his stuff here in Dallas. This has so far been really the tournaments of past tournament winners, and uh, I mean, we have Idra, we've got Select, we've got Huck. They're all currently in the loser's bracket right now in the tournament. We're going to be seeing some crazy matches here. Yeah, I mean, any time a great falls, people love to question, oh, is that person having a slump? Is there something bad that he's changed with his play recently? And the answer, honestly, is that all these players are just so good. It's not just Huck or Idra or Select. It is all of them. They are the players with an insane amount of rank points as well. Now, looking at these brackets, if I scroll all the way to the bottom, we do have, yeah, it looks like, uh, I'm trying to find Select here, but I will update you. Yes, he is playing the winner of Slush against Fnatic Phoenix, so that's going to be another hard match for Machine. By Select, you mean Machine, yeah, yeah. So Machine going to be playing the winner oh, yes. of that other match. Select, he's going to be dropping down into the loser's bracket. Uh, is the loser's bracket actually on there? Go the loser's bracket will be updated in a little bit. It's still running a little behind, I believe, because I haven't had the chance to look at the results because I was casting at the time. But, I mean, there a lot of really, really insane results in the loser's bracket. Vibe managing to knock out Root Bubba from the tournament. We also have QXC against no. EG Nyokin. Hey Pro against Atero, uh, one of the last remaining race pickers in this tournament. Looks like Og did manage to defeat Ah Boxa again in their encounter. We have In Control against Sickness in the Losers. Idra is playing against Involver, who did manage to take a game against Select. So, I mean, 
Still some vicious competition left in the tournament. Yeah, you mentioned a lot of the higher seeded players in this event just now in the losers brackets. So yeah, yeah. Really says a lot about this tournament and how many good players there are here at MLG Dallas, the national championships. Absolutely. So uh, if Kiwi Kaki is getting back from dinner soon, the players do get a brief break because they are not our slaves. We have to give them it's food eventually. It's too bad. But um, yeah, it looks like Kiwi Kaki will be returning eventually, and we'll be doing coverage of the little one against Kiwi Kaki. Of course, the crowd favorite, but again, big congrats to EG Machine for performing so well in this tournament, undefeated thus far. Yeah, Machine really showing his stuff here. I am very excited to see that little one match against Kiwi Kaki. Kiwi Kaki, one of the tournament favorites here, had great results at DC and Raleigh. We'll have to see how he does to, uh, against his match. The little one who's a uh, newcomer to the MLG scene, but definitely not a newcomer to the StarCraft II tournament scene. Absolutely. Kiwi Kaki always seems to be playing very calm and very well. As we've said a million times, we'll still say it again, it's hard to do what you do in practice at a huge tournament like this. I mean, the crowd is packed outside. They are pressed against the railing, leaning in to see their favorite players duke it out. We've had some amazing matches. This tournament has indeed delivered thus far, but man, is it nerve-wracking as a player. Yeah, there is an actual huge, huge crowd, and that's definitely got to add to some nerves, but we still have some great players here playing just as well as they would home, not uh, worried by any of the crowd there. And, uh, I mean, <coughs> looking at the winner right, or looking at the players currently left in the winner's round right now. Yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the winner's bracket round, because I do want to see what some of the current standings are. I mean, we had Liquid Rhett managing to 2-0 Huck in that series. Jinro against Neo Response is going on right now, and I honestly got to give uh, Jinro the favorite position there, as he yeah, did take too. Sock out pretty compellingly. Yep. Yep, and looking back, we have Drewby against Liquid Tyler. That'll be a good match. Oh, man. Is that is that happening, or has that been delayed? I am not sure. I, I hope that's actually been delayed. Looks like our uh, producer is about to tell us right now. All right, so it looks like we will be bringing you guys that match here in just a second. We're going to go get some dinner, though, and we'll be back here with more action live from Dallas, Texas at the MLG National Championship. See ya.